morning. I'm Lynn and welcome to a beautiful sunny, if not cold, day at Utopia Farms. Let's get started. Before I get to those bottle babies, we'll quickly do a check of the lambs in the jugs. He's in his favorite spot looking good. Guinevere's lambs are here. And oops, who do we have here? Someone just had a lammy. And if anyone recognizes her, that's Cammy. This is Cammy's very first lamb. She's a little stressed out right now. I don't know what it is right now. I haven't checked it. But he's sleeping, he, she. So when I'm done bottles, I'll go in and see what she has and stuff. Good girl, Cammy. What's that one doing? Even, even the other sheep are wondering why it's being so silly. You do when you're having a really nice nap. And if you hadn't seen her, you'd think she was dead if you just came in the barn. <laughs> Even with the sheep jumping up and down on the box. What's wrong with this one? What? What's wrong with this one? He's fixing it off. He's fixing it off. <laughs> it is. I just it was sleeping with its head on the ramp and then the it, it fell into deep sleep and went underneath. Hi Looney. Are you coming to see why she's lying under the ramp too? Oh, she woke up. <laughs> now she was stuck under there. Were you in mid-sleep, honey? Did they disturb you a little bit? Actually, I think that's the uh, the last Dorset that went in here, the young one. The outcross. You were fast asleep, sweetheart. Yeah, you were, and you were looking very good. <laughs> her mom just called her, and it was the uh, new one. She's got a very, very protective mom for a first-time mom. Yeah, she cr is crawling back and forth underneath her mom's belly. Let's see which side has the best milk. There she goes. Back to the other side. Let's see how tolerant that mom is. She kind of arches her back to help her along. Not all mothers do that. Just like humans, some are some moms are really good and some uh, would rather their lamb go off on their own and do their own thing so they didn't have to look after them. And she comes back to the other side again. Oh, Mom says it's over. She done?
Uh, excuse me, we're trying to film Looney. <laughs> Looney walked around the other side to go to the other side. I think you're done, Looney. She says no more. Hi, Looney. How you doing? She's one of my favorite Dorset ewe lambs in this group. She's a stocky little thing. Buddy, I'm trying to film, and with you chewing on the camera, it's very difficult. Yeah, it is. So we're getting the next pen ready for the next group of mums and lambs. We've got the creep area set up here. We're going to put some fresh straw in. We put a double wall up at the back there because of those rams just, just to be safe. And we took all the little dorset ram lambs out and brought them to the main barn. Cammy is being an extremely nervous mom. Um, not sure about nursing a lamb and stuff. So um, she seems fascinated by her lamb, but she's just past her placenta and she's still kind of a little bit hyper, I'd say, and doesn't stand still for the lamb to latch on. So earlier, Annie and I had to kind of hold her so that the lamb would nurse. She's not rejecting the lamb, she just doesn't understand. Cammie, you just gotta let him nurse. It's a girl, by the way. She got, Cammie has a little girl. We're gonna try bring these groups over. The hardest part is getting them out the door. Come on, you guys. Come on. Come on. Come on, Mom. That's your lammy. It's okay. You have to get them past this ice patch, which is really hard. And then it's usually smooth sailing. My bottle babies are sticking close to me, so they're not a problem. And of course, Buddy had to get involved. Stay there, Max. Luckily, my lambs are following me. This door open. Annie's. This group's being a little pernickety. If you look carefully, one of those ram rams has lost the elastic off his tail, so he's going to have a long tail. Here, Max! Max! Okay, now we're letting this you out with her lamb. She's 
we uh, when we let the misfit group out, we kept the mum, the calf, and udder, and the two white lambs in this barn, just so she could keep this ewe and her lamb company. So she's trimmed. I got her lamb up here, and these are going to be the new playmates for the little white lambs. Hey, hey, you want to go out? There's some white lambs you can play with. They're really nice. Come on. Come on, play with your mom. There you go. There. So they're in a different pen now. We got no pen, no sheep in the back anymore. They're all up front here. And we don't like to have this one in here with no company. That's why we left the twins in here. Cammie's not nursing her lamb, but at least she's laying with it now. She's really, really um, uptight. Maybe Guinevere can teach her a lesson. Because she's very calm. This is what we've been working on on our time off. And this is also what's been causing us grief lately. So this is the new island in our kitchen we've been working on. Just gonna turn the lights on so you can have a look. Yeah. Oh, that actually maybe drowned out the top on it a bit, that light. There, now you can see the color better. That's it. We're pretty excited. <laughs> it was unbelievably expensive for what it is. Like three drawers. Well, two sets of three doors. But we had a lot of problems with home hardware and getting this finished. Didn't we, Arnie? Just one person. Two people, really. Manager was a problem too. Well, one one per, one person, and then when I mentioned the issue to the manager, his first reply was that I'm lying. So then they're on the big defensive thing about how they can get out of it, not admit to it. I fabricated it, but they had no problem taking the check. But all's well that ends well. Let me put it this way. At home hardware, customers are not always right. I can tell you that. <laughs> that's right. That, that, always... that saying that uh, the customer is always right does not apply. <laughs> and I'll use another name, brand name. You can, you can always cut this out. I never had a problem with Home Depot. American. Never had a problem. But the home hardware, Canadian company, have a problem. But we fixed it ourselves, and that's it. And you know if the home hardware has some financial problems or can't stay afloat, that Canadian company will be the first one in line to go with Ottawa and ask for a handout. There's your phone, Arnie. Go answer it. So tonight's routine is going to be a little bit different. Because we moved the misfit group over to the coverall this afternoon. So everyone's over there. They have a bottle feeder set up, but they've never used that one before. So we'll see if we can get everyone to come over and get them fed tonight. It's a little more inconvenient, obviously, because... Now I have to walk across the entire barnyard in the dark, but in the long run, 
they do better over in the coveralls. There's just better feed there, more space, more light, air, and uh, plus we're going to be getting breeding groups set up very soon in the main barn, so it's time to move them over. My bottle babies know me quite well, so it shouldn't be a problem. But it always takes adjustment to do something new. And here they are. Hi, buddy. show you the way. Come on, you guys. Come on, mamas. Come on, we're going to go through this creep door here. Come on, mamas. Come on. There we go. Come on. And look, we got a new bottle feeder. On their new bottle holder, including the guy getting the hand job. These guys were well used to the bottle holder, so I wasn't expecting a problem here. And they followed me quite well. They followed me through the creek gate, so they knew how to get in here. And uh, in the next few days, when I come out to do bottles, I expect that they'll beat me into here to wait at the bottle holders. All of them came up to drink. And now that they're in there, they're discovering the creep area and the grain that we have out for them. Got some hay out for them as well. So, all looks good in here. They adapted very quickly. Our neighbor, the cook, showed up here right as I was about to go in and make dinner. And she had another dinner for us. <laughs> I don't know how lucky we are that we got a neighbor who likes to cook meals for people. <laughs> um, yeah, totally, totally unexpected and totally nice of her. So, if you're watching Leanne, thank you very much. It was delicious. We're in the main barn to check on the new ones. The twins are still sucking off one side and as you can see are in great condition. So mom's producing a lot of milk on one side. This guy's getting a little off his mom, but she only has half another two. And unlike the Texel girl, this one doesn't have a lot of milk. So I'm just giving a little top up to this guy. See this little guy, he only took half of what I offered him. So he is getting most from mom. Hi, and you guys don't take a bottle. Here, would you like one? Would you like one? You can have some if you like. Want to try it? There's milk in there if you need it. This is the reason I kept these guys back. Because I know eventually, as they grow, Mom probably won't be able to 
feed two on one. Oh, and it's drinking. You guys saw it the first time just like me. Good lammy. These two are smart little buggers too. Really cute little ewe lambs. Hi, is there milk in there? Well, you can have some. Yeah. And this is how we generally do it. So if we, I, I call it the misfit pen, but those are the ones that I'm suspicious that mom may not be able to feed them as they continue to grow. And so if I'm feeding a bottle baby in there, it actually spikes the curiosity of the other ones and they'll often come see what the big deal is all about. And that's how I'll get them to try a bottle too. And she's off. Didn't take very much, but had a taste. And that's a start. And even if one of them t turned over to a bottle baby and the other stayed with mom, that would work. I'm not foreseeing any problems with Guinevere and her two ewe lambs. So tomorrow they're going to get tagged and they're going to be released into that pen. Camia, however, however, is a problem because she's a little nervous about letting her lamb nurse. So because we've been out at dinner and stuff and can't stand here 24-7 and the lamb's laying down, I don't know if Cammy is now letting her nurse. But one way that gives me an idea is if I offer Cammy's lamb a bottle, if she guzzles it down, I know she hasn't been drinking off mom. If she doesn't take it, it doesn't tell me that she's full because some babies won't take a bottle, but it, it will tell me, you know, if it does drink. But I'm gonna go in there and Give her a try and see if she takes the bottle. Okay, she did not take a bottle. So that means she could be full. She's warm. That would be something else I'd be looking for. She doesn't look sunken. That's another good sign. She seems lively. Cammy does talk to her and is very interested in her. Have you been letting her nurse now? Yeah, you're, you're a bit concerned about that lamb. Yeah, you're a bit concerned. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. To me, the lamb is acting good. Cammy is nervous about me being in here and fussing with it. But she's not freaking out now. So, if I was suspect, like if the lamb was cold, not alert, sunken in at the belly, um, or Cammy was spinning around still, probably tube the lamb. But see, it shook. Remember we always said watch for them stretching when they wake up and having a nice little shake? That's usually an indicator of a healthy, warm, satisfied lamb. Cold, ill, hungry lambs will rarely do that. Yeah, you like her, don't you, Cammy? So I'm gonna leave them be and we'll check them again in the morning. But she's got plenty of milk, so there should be no problem here. But she is a first-time mom, and first-time moms can be nervous. They don't understand the sensation sometimes. So that's another day done at Utopia Farms. Thank you for watching, and I hope you'll join us again tomorrow for the next episode. Bye for now.